on the GPS photography and video, gpsphotoandvideo.com, alongside all the rage, George Page. The emperor of everybody been talking. <laughs> and we're talking about um, Amazon Fitness Magazine, yes. which is a magazine that, uh, that I'm starting. Uh, comes out one day, and I'm actually actively shooting content. I already know who my cover is, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna divulge that. Um, so, the basis of it was dedicated to women's bodybuilding because when I saw a lot of shows, and I saw even different magazines, uh, you will always see the bikinis. Uh, fitness somewhat, figure somewhat, but not everybody's really, I mean, we talk about flex and the big guys, yeah, mm -hmm, no, 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 but no. Um, people that have this uh, magazine that are just coming out, they cater to the bikini, and I like why the shows cater to them as well, because that's where the money is. When we go to a show, 25% of the competitors uh, pretty much are bikini, or the women's body. So, but, and that's just the way it is, and so, uh, it perpetuates the thing of like, okay, you say you love female bodybuilding, but you only promote really one category. I love them all, and I plan to promote them all. But when you start looking at shows like Arnold's and a few of the other shows, and they can say it's about money because obviously you'll make more money off of a bikini. Um, women's physique and female bodybuilding being cut. And so my goal, my passion is because, you know, like I said, you know, having spent time uh, around the women's physique for nearly three years. Um, and I've seen some of the ins and outs and got a edu good education uh, from Sharon again, who basically told me, taught me everything I know about it. Um, but I see the slight in it, you know, and I always love the female bodybuilder because that's the, that's the one that nobody understands, that everybody's scared of, feared of, or in love with, one or the other. Um, and so I, it's dedicated to them, and I want to push those categories, of course, and recognize them all from bikini all the way up, but at the same time, I don't want to slight that girl that's out there that's a powerlifter, that's a crossfit, that's a triathlete. Well, there are some ladies out there that's, that's, also, that's really doing it, so that's my premise. Also, MMA, there's some, there's some yes. women who, um, in MMA who are, uh, who are great, you know, like, recently I just, um, one lady who I uh, did a while back, uh, Mandy Polk, mm -hmm. she did um, fitness for quite about some time, and she she does MMA, and she is still, and even though she's not competing in IB Pro, she's still in the level of a of a fitness competitor. Right. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you know, that's my basis. So that being said, what are your questions? <laughs> <laughs> the big question is, well, like, um, what's the you know you know how are you gonna lay it out, or um, just basically, um, you know, what do you want to do it like kind of like the old days, just you know, um, classic style. You um, know, looking at the research of it, I look back and look at a lot of stuff from Bill Dobbins. I looked at a magazine called Women's Physique World. Um, That's what it makes And the thing about it, it's going to be a throwback, but I think it has to be relative to today. Mm -hmm. And I just think that those two categories, Women's Physique and Female Body, are going to just misunderstood. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of fans out there that want to see them, and you can see that. You know, people say, well, they're not going to be in the show, they're not competing in that show. And you saw where Sarah Vallegas wanted to put up 20K to, to have the women's physique at the Arnold's. Oh, yeah. And so, and with, so when you look at, okay, if they're not in the shows and you got magazines not wanting to publish them, you got photographers not wanting to shoot them, they'll shoot, you know, the big name girls, obviously. They'll shoot bikinis and stuff all day. You know, that's my niche, you know, and promote them and celebrate them. It's like, hey, you got to look at the entire division because I love them all. Mm -hmm. um, this will be a bi-monthly magazine, uh, so the first issue is May. Next one will come out in, in July. And so once the one comes out in May, I'm going to be hitting the road uh, for the Pittsburgh Pro, and I'm trying to shoot a certain <laughs> yeah, bodybuilder uh, for the July cover. And then uh, I've got another bodybuilder that, that I've already committed to and uh, uh, booked, if you will. Uh, in June, and uh, like I said, I'm not gonna reveal the name. But all I can say is when you when you see it, you're like, wow, he shot her. Wow, he went yeah. So so yeah. we do like more like a um, lot. Well, lot of uh, magazines doing it more doing online. Yeah, the papers getting. It's gonna be online, uh, but it'll be available for print. 
and uh -huh. finding, it's all about finding the right publisher. And, I, and the whole thing about it is content and cover. What kind of content you have, different articles, like some of the stuff we just talked about, Cost to Compete, uh, Teresa Moda, IBB Women's Physique, is a consultant and advisor. She's going to write some articles for me, uh, as well as do some shoots as well, and interviews like the ones that you saw recently. Uh, the Valentine's Boudoir shoot, and uh, she, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, she interviewed uh, Serena Barish, uh, BB Women's Physique. And, uh, That's cool. To sit in the room and see both of them now, like, yeah, and yeah I, I, came, I, I was thankful. Uh, and so that's the basis of it. Uh, but if you the content and then the cover, whoever you guys on the, got have on the cover, that's what's gonna sell the magazine. Yeah. And so if you got a, that big draw factor on the cover, everybody like, Phew. Mm -hmm. and so to me, it's it's either um, it's gonna be an epic failure or it's gonna be an epic success. There won't be any in between because I'm going all in for it. Well. The quote I said, um, one of my favorite movies, Batman Begins, when um, Thomas Wayne asked his son Bruce, Bruce, why did we fall? So we're not going to pick ourselves up. <laughs> All right. That movies. works. You I love the movies. movies. Yeah, I love movies. And so, uh, yeah, so that's the basis of it. And hopefully gather uh, you know, people like you to promote it. Um, oh, I will obviously be selling ads. I've got a couple of investors. The magazine release party will be on 1 May, around the corner here at Wilburn's Loft, Wilburn's. Event center, wedding and event center. Um, some more to follow on that, and uh, yeah, that that's it. I'm going for it, and uh, see how I promote it. And like I said, um, I'm a fan and a photographer, and it's okay to be both. Yeah, it's, it's good because like I said, I'm a fan of the ladies who I do interviews with. You know, um, I enjoy um, talking about the women because, like I said, you know, they need the attention. Mm -hmm. They do. Cause they are they they put so much into this sport. Yeah, yeah. especially now you got a lot of women who have families to take care of. Right. And then by the way, it is a selfish sport. Right. You think about it. And you you have a you have a, well, a husband, you have a kids, you have family and friends. Mm -hmm. I know with Miss Mary Ann, we talk about how so many sacrifices she has to make mm -hmm. for uh, what she's doing. You know, like not spending time with family. You have to get ready for a show. Mm -hmm. There's so much in this sport, and I think you know, and you're doing a great thing. By which your magazine, because you know, like many remember physique world. Mm -hmm. I, I still have some copies. Mm -hmm. You know, it's in a box with some of my comic books in the in, in, <laughs> in, 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 in storage room. And you know, and what you're doing is really great. I mean, you know, it is just giving this, them a, a platform. Mm -hmm. You know, giving them exactly. like a, you know, nice competitors who say you know, like like I like to talk to ladies who are not. I would love to talk to some superstars, but I like to talk to women like I, like I like to call them having boots in the ground, ten toes down. Right. And you're doing a great thing. And the fan base is out there. It's just the fans are saying, hey, where's this person? Where's that? Why are they not competing? And then think about it. So hopefully that's going to that's gonna give it to them. You may not be able to see them at, at the show. You may not be able to get to the show. Or maybe they're not uh, competing at the show. But you're going to see them in the magazine. So. Yeah, so that's really cool. So we're going to see what happens. And again, it's going to be May 1st. May 1st is the first issue, the inaugural issue of Amazon's fitness uh, magazine. Amazon fitness magazine. So A publication of GPS photography and video. Yes. Yes. And uh, got some heavy hitters uh, working on my website and stuff. Uh, Dan Davis, who's at RX Muscle and Female uh, Muscle World. He's also married to a, a female bodybuilder. So, I, you know, I went out and did some research and found the right people uh, to, to give the right education and consultation and, and tell me the truth, hey, look, you're on, you're on crack. <laughs> and, uh, don't do that. Um, yeah, cool, keep you and, and, a, and a few show photographers uh, that I talked to, uh, you know, Lori Terry, I talked at length with him over the past year, you know, and I, I told him, I said, hey, either this thing's going to be an epic failure or, or an epic fail, but it's got, it's got to work. You know, so, so I'm grinding to see what happens, man. You know? Well, I'm going to say this, Mr. Young, I'm going to be like a you when I grow up. <laughs> 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 when we come back, we'll close it out with your final comments. Oh, man, young GPS photography and video, GPS photo and video.com for Amazon's fitness magazine alongside all the rage, George Page. Let me get you close the comments. So glad you came by, man. 
I'm just, I was just great because you know what? When you reached out to me, I was like, this guy here, man. <laughs> you seen $5? I said, yes. <laughs> well, the thing about it, yeah, I sent you $5. I said, well, he'll call me. If you send somebody money, <laughs> yeah, you'll yeah, get a yeah. thank you or, or something. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I said, but I said, it was only $5. I said, $500. Yeah, and $5 I put in my game. <laughs> you know, I, mean, I said, well, he'll call me if you see this one. Yeah, anyway, I was kind of curious. But it'll be a YouTube channel. Yeah, but like I said, I really appreciate you reaching out to me. You know, mm -hmm. you know. And um, like I said, what, how I got into this was, like I said, um, after my mother passed, I had a lot of free time. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do something. I was already doing it because you were dealing with her and her illness. Mm -hmm. I need something to outlet. And I want to shout out to a guy who was a great friend of mine, one Mr. Uh, Coach Sherry Harrison. He inspired me to start doing this. Thank you, Coach. You know, he wanted me to call myself the king of uh, female bodybuilding. I said, <laughs> I, you know what? You know, king is just so common. So I said, Emperor. And then there's a lady who um, who I follow. We uh, we we do see his combat sports. We do live streams about mm -hmm. MMA and stuff like that. And she called me the Perry Sage because sometimes I talk about things. And I said, you know, the Perry Sage. And then also, I one of my favorite movies is the whole Batman Chris Nolan trilogy. And the, next to the best Joker next to Jack Nicholson mm -hmm. is Heath Ledger. And I think so. you know, and um, his his version of Joker. He took it. He ran with that version mm -hmm. of Joker. And you know, and I, I, I created the career Joker is for anarchy because he loves gasoline and dynamite. And one of my favorite quotes is like sometimes like me and my sister would talk about me like our father was drunk and the fiend and our mother didn't like it, not one bit. But, <laughs> but it's just those you know, like I said, I used to the key I was tell stories. Right. I like, like to tell stories. I love doing this because the fact is it's something to do, something to educate people on the sport of life. Right. The women, these women are women. No matter what they right. do, whatever, whatever, they're still women. They're in this sport for, you know, to compete like any athlete. Mm -hmm. They're mothers, they're wives, they're athletes, they're, um, uh, they're grandmothers, they're aunts, they're sisters. These women in this sport, you know, need to get respect and recognition. Money should be a lot better, but we all know mm -hmm. the systems are the going to pay. Like, I talk about this also, I do MMA. Mm -hmm. I talk about MMA, how also the, the money in that sport. If you compare MMA to boxing, the, you know, the top male boxer, Mm -hmm. Still makes more than the top second tier MMA fighter. Yeah, you know, if you, you, you like, you like, if you look at like someone like um, you know, Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor. Mm -hmm. This is Floyd. This is Conor. Mm -hmm. You know, and even like a second tier boxer still makes more than the top MMA fighter. But that's the thing is, is about supporting the sport that needs attention. Right. You know, these people, these ladies, these men, these women, they need the you know support. Also. You know, if you are somebody who, who is interested in sponsors from these ladies, right. they can use a sponsor. Yep. You know, that can help pay for their food, their travel. You know, a post suit's cost. Mm -hmm. Remember back in the day when a post suit was just, just plain, nothing fancy. Right. You know, but now you had to wear jewelry, had makeup. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you weren't studs any post suits. Your post suit can cost one thing from $1,000 to $2,000. That's yeah. that's a car. That's yeah. like a, that's, that's a, a used car. And of course, you thought everything once you hit the stage. Yeah. Don't forget about the gym fees, the coaching mm -hmm. fees. Entry fees, the entry fees, entry uh, fees, the nutrition, the meal plans. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you are right. an amateur, right? You, you know, you just getting started, and then you like it's tough. You just you know? amateurs pay more into it. That's one thing is they have to pay entry fees. They have right. to, you know, it, you know, they don't really only they make money if some do have jobs, mm -hmm. but they have to do some of these websites that are catered yeah. towards the fan base, right? And you know, especially for men, because basically the fan base is mostly. Women in the fan base are mostly it's gonna be men. They gonna have a few women, but it's mostly men. Well, why bodybuilding, men's bodybuilding, the yeah. fan base is much broader. And then of course the pros. I mean, you this your top four Olympian, you know, it, it's tough. Yeah. You know? So it's not just the amateurs, it's a lot of the pros too, yeah. until you get to that level. But you look at the sacrifices and everything they gave up to get to that level. And I always say there's a lot of uh, if, if you had the the competitor that's out there, they had the backing and the support. There's a lot of them out there walking the street that is the next Ariel Kadir, the next Andrew Shaw. Cheryl Vegas, Andrew Shaw, if they just hit the back. Mm -hmm. and, you know, and you, it just makes you wonder. Yeah, because I talk about this, that I think some of if they have from a, I mean like a, a sponsors mm -hmm. who can like, okay, cut some of their um, your um, things that their money put into, like, you know, cut some of their, you know, Make it make it easy for them. Right. Where you know, hey, you could get like I would say, maybe ten thousand dollars. I would say uh, a month. Mm -hmm. That can really help. 
they can get prep for shows. They can, don't have to worry about the, the other bills. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and that will help them out. We, even $5,000 a month right. will really help. But it's just, we, it's just the prejudice against the way the body goes. It's just, you know. It's just, What's coming up next for all the Rage George days? Well, I'm working on some content. Um, Monday, we're having my Muscle Talk Monday, number 72. Me and my partner Jerry, or his name is, he, he, I call him Jerry, but you know, Jerry's a pretty good guy. Shout out to Jerry, he's in Pennsylvania also. Shout out to your brother. We, we're going to do, uh, I think we'll do a thing dedicated to the Miss Olympia. Some, mm -hmm. I, feel, I would call it, it's like top 10 Miss Olympia. Mm -hmm. You know, also, um, I got some stuff I'm working on now. Um, uh, also, I uh, do a thing called comparisons where I do certain bodybuilders and put them against. I, um, Supposed to be working on. I got one I got to come out that I do them every so two times, two three, three times a week, and um, it's like something that you know. Um, I, I send the ladies who I do for. I send to them. They mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. I recently had um, some ladies who like um, Rashawn Boswell. Mm -hmm. I did a comparison with her and um, Rashina uh, Boswell. Rashina, I was like, I was like, oh, Rashina, sorry, <laughs> Rashina. I said Rashina. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find out very shortly. <laughs> I did one recently with her some time ago, and also a who I follow, Miss um, Akima Jones. I did a comparison. I call it Caribbean Beauties, so Caribbean Queens. I did a comparison with her and um, Diane Cadeau, and another lady who I followed did a while back, Miss Roxanna Edwards. I did a comparison with her and um, Candace Carr Archer, mm -hmm. and I sent it to them. They loved it. They loved the fact that you know comparing somebody in the past or somebody mm -hmm. today, it's it's a lot because you know I'm, I'm doing dedication for most this month. To ladies, to our male and sisters, I love black women muscle. I just, it's just the beauty of the muscle, the skin, the complexion. You know, it's just, it's amazing. That's why I do this. This month I do a comparison, and then next month I just do different people. I might even do some. I used to, do, I do every so often. I might do a series, or I just do. I even have one called Flex and Sex Appeal, mm -hmm. where you know, I pick some women who's beautiful and just amazing. You know, there's just some women like like Sharonica Hinton. She's a beautiful. I think the one with Sharonica. You know, I think um, uh, yes. they're just some beautiful yeah, women. You in the sport of bodybuilding. People look at them and say, like, they got these big muscles, but if you looked at it, it's still women. Mm -hmm. Just see that what they are are women. And it's amusing and it's amazing about how they they, they change their bodies to certain mm -hmm. levels. Maybe not the standards. Like I'm like I said, I'm from North Carolina. Group women are women a lot of a little figure, a little more shapely. But these women are just a different type of women that, you know, it's just it's just you know. Well, I mean, it is a lot of them when they're off season still look great. Yeah. That's yeah, one yeah, of the yeah, things about shooting in all season. They get you know, them, and I think they actually get more haters because like, oh, she looks good eating out of love. So this is this one like one of my first shows, Dave Spell. Let them hate you, they can't hate no more. <laughs> that's, that's what tells some of the ladies. Let them hate you, they can't hate no more. Appreciate you coming by. All right. right. Come back again, right? Oh, not a problem. I'm trying to find this time I was a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Glenn Young, GPS photography and video, GPS photos and video.com. I'm hitting the road, back in the studio tomorrow, actually shooting. And then I'll be hitting the road, um, uh, shoot content for Amazon Fitness Magazine. Why photography and video? Because with photos are worth a thousand words, videos are worth a million. We'll see you next time.